Today, we're looking at 5 affordable and 5 luxury electric vehicles of 2024, showcasing the latest in EV technology and high-end design. Whether it's your first car or a new addition to your collection, the EV world has something for everyone. Join us on this electrifying journey. Let's examine the most accessible electric vehicles of 2024, focusing on affordability and practicality. These models may not top speed or range charts, but excel in cost-effectiveness, ideal for budget-conscious buyers. Our criteria include only the latest vehicles, with a special mention of a standout 2023 model known for its exceptional value. Perfect for those entering the EV world, this model balances price with the electric driving experience, making it a top choice for first-time EV buyers. Sliding into our number 5 spot is the all-new 2024 Hyundai Kona Electric, priced at $32,675. The Kona Electric has undergone a complete makeover for this year, mirroring the attractive design of its internal combustion engine counterparts. We had high hopes for a significant boost in performance compared to its predecessor. However, the latest iteration brings a mix of anticipation and a bit of disappointment. For starters, the Kona Electric now offers a choice between two motor and battery pack configurations. But here's the twist. Both options show a surprising dip in performance. The top-tier model maintains its horsepower at 201, yet the torque takes a noticeable hit, dropping from 291 to 201 pound-feet. The new, smaller motor option presents an even more underwhelming picture, delivering just 133 horsepower and 188 pound-feet of torque. Each motor is paired with its own battery pack, the smaller setup provides a range of 197 miles, while the larger battery pushes slightly ahead, offering 260 miles, just a 2-mile improvement over the 2023 model. Charging times also leave something to be desired. Hyundai claims that charging from 10% to 80% at a fast charger will take around 43 minutes. While the 2024 Kona Electric remains an attractive option in the EV market, it's somewhat disheartening to see a model take a step back in performance. No one enjoys witnessing a regression in a nameplate that had so much potential. At number 4, we have the 2024 Fiat 500e, priced just a whisker below the Kona at $32,500. This new iteration of the Fiat 500e is a delightful revelation, especially since its first version seemed more like an afterthought in the US market. The latest model lands on our shores with modest improvements in power, offering 118 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. But the real game-changer here is the significant leap in range. The 2024 model boasts an impressive 149 miles, a substantial upgrade from the previous 84 miles. Charging the Fiat 500e is fairly convenient too. It takes just 4 hours to charge on a level 2 charger, and you can get from 0 to 80% in just 35 minutes with a fast charger. Now, you might be thinking, isn't this a step down from the Kona Electric? In terms of raw specs, perhaps. But the Fiat 500e isn't trying to be more than what it is, a quintessential city car. It's designed for those who often find themselves weaving through tight urban spaces or for someone who doesn't need to travel far from home, or maybe even has another vehicle for longer trips. Plus, its upgraded styling is a head-turner, promising to add a touch of joy every time you spot it in a parking lot. And remember, there are still more affordable options ahead in our list. Landing at number 3 on our list is the Mini Cooper Electric Hardtop, priced attractively at $30,900. This model finds itself in a slightly more challenging position than the previous two entries, but its lower price point is a definite advantage. The Mini Cooper Electric shines in its power output, delivering a robust 184 horsepower and 199 pound-feet of torque to the front wheels, thanks to the motor borrowed from the now-discontinued BMW i3. However, there's a catch, its driving range is a bit of a letdown at just 114 miles. But let's not forget, this is still a Mini at heart. It retains the brand's signature compact size and nimble handling, making it a joy to drive in urban environments. For those who are set on a fully electric Mini, this model is currently the go-to choice. However, if patience is in your arsenal, 
waiting for the 2025 model might be a wise move. The upcoming version is set to offer a significantly better range of 250 miles and a slightly higher power output of 215 horsepower. Keep in mind, though, that with these enhancements, it's likely to come with a higher price tag as well. Our runner-up in this electrifying lineup is the Nissan LEAF, with a starting price of $28,140. This veteran of the EV world has witnessed many competitors rise and fall, yet it continues to hold its ground. While it may not boast the most cutting-edge design or modern features among its peers, the LEAF has leveraged its affordability and a suite of features to remain a strong contender in the market. For the base price, the Nissan LEAF offers a respectable 149 miles of range, backed by 147 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque directed to the front wheels. For those who are willing to invest a bit more, there's an option to upgrade to a more robust package that includes 212 miles of range, 214 horsepower, and 250 pound-feet of torque. At a price tag of around $28,000, the base specs are quite reasonable. Plus, there's a potential bonus. The LEAF might still qualify for half of the $7,500 EV tax credit in 2024. However, just like with the Mini Cooper electric hardtop, a bit of patience could pay off. Nissan is planning to roll out a new model in 2025. But it's important to note that this upcoming model will likely miss out on the tax credit, as production is moving from Tennessee to England. For those on the fence, it's a choice between grabbing the current model with potential tax incentives or waiting for the newer, likely more advanced version. Topping our list as the most affordable new EV you can buy in the US as of January 2024 is the Chevy Bolt, with its sibling, the Bolt EUV, close behind. Priced at $26,500 and $27,800 respectively, these models are not only budget-friendly but also fully eligible for the full $7,500 EV tax credit. Yes, you heard that right. Despite the Bolt being discontinued at the end of 2024, it's still very much available. A quick online search or a visit to local dealerships, even here in Pittsburgh, reveals a plentiful supply of brand new bolts, often at MSRP or even lower. This availability secures its position as the cheapest new EV option currently on the market. Chevrolet really hit the mark with the Bolt. By reducing the price and packing the car with impressive features, they've created a highly appealing compact EV. The Bolt boasts a front-mounted motor that churns out 200 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. Coupled with a 65 kWh battery pack, it offers a solid range of 259 miles. These specs would be commendable for a car priced at $35,000, but the Bolt starts at an incredibly low $26,500. The cherry on top is the Bolt's eligibility for the $7,500 EV tax credit in 2024. This makes it possible to own a 200-horsepower electric car for under $20,000, depending on the deal you find. And in 2024, the process is even more streamlined, allowing you to apply for the tax credit directly at the dealership. This makes the Chevy Bolt an unbeatable value proposition for anyone looking to step into the EV world without a hefty investment. For those seeking the pinnacle of electric vehicle luxury and performance, we're showcasing the top tier of EV innovation. These cars aren't merely transport, they're the benchmark of luxury, merging opulence with advanced performance. Note that some models may be officially sold out, but in the luxury supercar world, opportunities can arise unexpectedly. For those with the means and patience, owning one of these exclusive electric marvels remains possible. Kicking off our list of the creme de la creme of electric supercars is the Hispano Suiza Carmen Boulogne, with a price tag of a staggering $1.8 million. This car isn't just a vehicle, it's a fusion of automotive excellence and artistic expression. Unveiled in 2020, the Carmen Boulogne is a tribute to Hispano Suiza's illustrious pre-war racing heritage, and it stands out as one of the most unique supercars in existence. While its aesthetics might be subjective, after all beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder, its performance metrics are objectively breathtaking. The car's monocoque and body are crafted entirely from carbon fiber, ensuring both strength and lightness. 
It boasts a double wishbone suspension at both the front and rear, enhancing its agility and handling. The powerhouse of this vehicle is its dual electric motors, which together unleash a formidable 1,100 horsepower. This translates to a top speed of 180 miles per hour and a blistering 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 2.6 seconds. And despite these performance figures, it still offers a practical range of about 200 miles. Hispano Suiza has announced a very limited production run of just five units for the Boulogne. As of now, there's no clear indication if this exclusive lot has been completely sold out. However, there's a significant catch for potential US buyers. The company hasn't planned on homologating the Carmen Boulogne for sale in the United States. The only viable path for American enthusiasts to legally drive this masterpiece on public roads would be through a show and display exemption. In the number 4 spot of our Elite Electric Supercar Showcase is the Remac Nevera, priced at a breathtaking $2.2 million. The story of Remac is one of ambition and groundbreaking innovation, with the Nevera standing as a testament to its founder, Mate Remac's, vision. His goal was clear to eclipse the performance of every other supercar. And with the Nevera, he might just have achieved that. This car isn't just powerful, it's a force of nature on wheels. Under its hood lies a heart that pumps out an astonishing 1,877 horsepower. But it doesn't stop there, the Nevera also boasts a staggering 1,740 pound-feet of torque, thanks to a dedicated motor at each wheel. This raw power translates into real-world performance that can only be described as jaw-dropping, 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mere 1.74 seconds. It blazes through a quarter mile in just over 8 seconds and doesn't stop accelerating until it hits a top speed of 258 miles per hour. Even more impressively, it can go from 0 to 249 miles per hour and back to 0 in less than 30 seconds. The Nevera also impresses with a solid range of about 300 miles, though expect that to decrease with more spirited driving. And when it comes to recharging, it's as quick as it is on the road 0 to 80% in just 19 minutes with 350 kilowatts fast charging, giving you just enough time for a quick break. Remac is producing only 150 of these breathtaking machines, making the Nevera not just a car, but a rare jewel in the world of automotive engineering. Securing the third position in our parade of electric marvels is the Pininfarina Batista, priced identically to the Nevera at $2.2 million. This Italian masterpiece stands as a true rival to the Nevera, not only in price but also in its foundational elements, as it shares the carbon tub, battery, and motors with the Remac Nevera. But make no mistake, the Batista is far from a mere clone. It carves out its own identity with a distinct personality and aesthetics that are simply breathtaking. In terms of performance, the Batista mirrors the Nevera's staggering figures. It commands an impressive 1,877 horsepower and 1,726 pound-feet of torque, thanks to a motor at each wheel. This power translates into a real-world acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.79 seconds, and it doesn't stop until it reaches a top speed of 217 miles per hour. At one point, these figures were enough to overshadow the Nevera, but Remac was quick to reclaim its ground. Choosing between the Batista and the Nevera can feel like an echo of the same question, given their similar performance specs. However, where the Batista truly shines is in its design. Its stunning looks alone are enough to tip the scales for many. It may have borrowed some notes from the Nevera, but it did so from the best in the class and added its own flair for style. In the end, it's not just about who copied from whom, it's about who took those elements and created something even more extraordinary. In the number two spot of our exclusive electric supercar lineup is the Lotus Avaya, with a price tag of $2.3 million. The Avaya is more than just a car. It's a groundbreaking phenomenon in the automotive world, seamlessly blending stunning beauty with raw power, all while staying true to Lotus's ethos of lightweight performance. Weighing in at just 3,703 pounds, it outclasses its competitors like the Nevera and Batista in terms of weight. But the magic of the Avaya is how it makes this already light frame seem even lighter, thanks to its astonishing power. 
Lotus throws around some eye-watering numbers when it comes to the Avaya's capabilities. Peak horsepower is quoted at around 1,972 to 2,011, so you know you're dealing with something close to the 2,000 horsepower mark. The torque is equally impressive at 1,253 pound-feet. These numbers work in unison to propel the Avaya from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 3 seconds, eventually hitting a top speed limited to 218 miles per hour. The range is respectable at around 200 miles, and if you're in a hurry, a 350 kilowatts fast charger can replenish the battery from 0 to 100% in just 18 minutes. Only 130 units of the Avaya were planned, and deliveries began last summer. While initially thought to be sold out, there are reports that orders are still open, though it's uncertain for how much longer. And for those looking for something even more extreme, there's buzz about an even hotter, track-only version of the Avaya, dubbed the Avaya X. Before we reveal the number one electric supercar on our list, we want to remind you that if you're enjoying this journey through the world of EVs and want to stay updated on the latest in automotive excellence, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Your support helps us bring you more content like this, so don't forget to like, share, and comment below on which of these electric supercars you'd love to see in your garage. Now, let's unveil our top pick. The Aspark Owl secures the top spot on our list, but it's shrouded in a bit of mystery. This car has been tantalizing the automotive world since its debut over half a decade ago. Back in 2018, it made headlines with a video showcasing a blistering acceleration from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds. But fast forward to the present, and we're still eagerly awaiting the arrival of this electric dynamo. Despite its delay, the specs of the Aspark Owl are nothing short of astounding. Equipped with four electric motors, it boasts a power output of 1,985 horsepower and 1,475 pound-feet of torque. The car claims a top speed of 260 miles per hour and an astonishing 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 1.72 seconds. However, these figures haven't been tested or verified in real-world conditions yet, so there's a bit of mystery surrounding its actual performance capabilities. Recent high-speed test runs do suggest that it has the potential to rival the Nevera in terms of power and speed. Initially, 50 units of the Aspark Owl were planned, and the company has confirmed that they're all sold out. Prototypes have been spotted in various locations around the globe, but a true production version is yet to be revealed. Will 2024 be the year the Aspark Owl finally spreads its wings and takes on the challenge for the EV supercar crown? Only time will tell, but the anticipation is certainly high.